First, so let's get news, travel and weather where you are. See you in a moment. Hello, good morning. This is BBC Newsline. Tributes have been paid to the former SDLP MP for South Down, Eddie McGrady, who has died aged 78. He was an MP from 1987 until his retirement 23 years later. He was also a member of the Northern Ireland Assembly between 1998 and 2003. The leader of the SDLP, Alistair MacDonald, described the veteran politician as one of the founding pillars of the party, a great patriot and a great Democrat. Even having stepped aside as an MP in 2010, he retained a keen interest. He was still chair of the South Down Constituency Council and he still intervened uh, when he considered it necessary into party affairs at a central level and his advice and guidance was always welcome. But he's a big, big loss and I mean, I feel the personal loss and I feel as if I've lost a, a father. More support is needed for carers who look after people with serious mental illnesses in Northern Ireland. That's the gist of a manifesto from the charity Cause, which was set up to help carers and their families. It's due to be launched at Stormont today. I think certainly in terms of involvement and information sharing with carers, particularly in the field of mental illness, is one of the areas where we want more acknowledgement given to the role of families, partners and friends when they are working with professionals to formulate the whole triangle of care approach, which is a seminal best practice approach, you know, of carers, service users and professionals working together for recovery, um, right through to, I suppose, really awareness of carers' needs when um, carers take on a lot of responsibility, very different types of pressure at any given time, depending on the nature of the illness, but really for carers to also be recognised and have their own identity and their own unmet needs, which need to be looked after as well. Now here's our reporter Mark Simpson with details of a story coming up on this evening's BBC Newsline at 6.30. Why do so many men not want to go to the doctor? I've come to this man van for a health MOT. Can't keep me out of the doctors. What's happening with the weather? We were promised sunshine yesterday. Let's find out what's in store with Angie Phillips. Good morning. It's been a fairly clear night for many of us, so a chilly start this morning, odd pockets of frost and mist around, but it's also mainly dry and a lovely bright sunny start for many of us as well. A few showers in the north-northwest, they'll continue to trickle in on the breeze today, which picks up a little bit towards the north coast, but for many of us it's dry, good spells of sunshine, not as mild as yesterday though with highs of 9, maybe 10 degrees. Now during the night, even the showers around the coast tend to ease, a dry night, another chilly one, generally 3 or 4 degrees but some spots getting close to freezing so again we're looking at a touch of frost in places but at least it's a dry and a fairly bright start tomorrow rain reaches the west by midday and spills quickly across all parts in the afternoon and the winds will be strengthening we're looking at gales developing tomorrow night and a blustery showery start to thursday but those showers will ease and it looks a bit drier towards the weekend there we are, wrap up warm. That's the local news for now. I'll be back just before eight. In the meantime, you can keep up to date with Good Morning Ulster on BBC Radio Ulster. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.